Welcome back to my channel guys. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a shop update video. I don't know why I did that. So weird. But I think this was kind of inevitable. It's easier for me to just sit here and talk about it than to kind of put it in like than to put like it in writing on like a blog or in, on my Facebook group. It's easier just to sit down and chat to you all. If you have questions, leave them in the description and I will try and answer them as best as possible or leave them in the Facebook group, which I will also try and again answer as best as possible. <sighs> I've already like, I've already like tired myself out. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. So basically, if you are in my Facebook group, if you follow me on Instagram, um, then you will know that the shop is going to close as of midnight tonight. When you see this video, you have seven hours basically. So I'm sorry if you just watch on YouTube and you didn't have any other warning. Actually, there was warning yesterday in the description of a video because I had said the shop was going to close on the 23rd for a month, but it wasn't. So I like put the extra stuff in the description so if you read the descriptions which a lot of people don't then you would have known about it um but sorry there's like little warning here but there's been so much warning on my facebook as much warning as i had on my facebook group and my instagram so be sure to follow those and join those so you're always up to date with what is going on um but basically i will be closing down the sticker shop as it is like it will never return as it is um I don't think ever like in the future I could go back to selling the way I do but I don't think I would ever I think I've decided not to do it on like a third party platform I think I've decided to do it on Etsy I asked everybody in the group to vote and the majority was Etsy so um that was like that kind of swayed me in my decision to just sell on Etsy, kind of move with the flow of it. Like, I always wanted my shop to be kind of different, but I think it still can be even on Etsy. But I wanted to just separate myself. But I think that, not that it really messed me up because it's not like I've had no one, but like, I'm not in search engines, I'm not in any of that kind of stuff. Like, that people, like, people automatically go to Etsy, and if they search something, and my shop doesn't come up, then like, do you know what I mean? You with me? You with me? Okay, you with me. Um, so yeah, that was one reason that I'm moving back to Etsy when I reopen as in the new format. Basically, the new format will mean no single sticker sheets. You won't be able to purchase a sheet of headers. You won't be able to purchase a weekly kit. You won't be able to purchase um, ombre check boxes, or you won't be able to purchase decorative items, you won't be able to purchase anything as a sheet, which I know obviously I'm probably going to lose a little bit of business from that, but I'm really happy with my decision for my idea that, um, of my monthly planning kit or planner kit, which is going to be like, basically, it'll be enough for two full weeks, it'll be, it will include enough for two full weeks of white, no white space planning. So basically, like, a week like this, and a week like this. It will include enough stickers for that, plus extras. So like monthly items, like weekly habit trackers, um, what is it, weekly ombres, hydrate stickers, weekend banners, things like that. There'll be a, those kind of things in monthly items as well but it's kind of not going to be monthly items if that makes any sense you're not going to get colors like this that perfectly match because i think i'm going to try and make it work for like all the planners so try and pick a theme and a color that works for this um so like july because the new colors have changed in the ec so I'm going to, at least for the rest of this year, try and make a colour scheme and a theme that will fit in this vertical Erin Condren and the new colourful vertical Erin Condren. I haven't decided if I'll do a separate one for horizontal or make the colour scheme the same and offer a horizontal sizing option. I haven't, 
fully because I'm redesigning the way I format my sheets. So once I have that down, I'll know if I can do that as well. But obviously stay up to date with more information. But um, saying this now, giving you as much warning as I can, the shop will close midnight tonight. There is a clearance, the code clearance40 will get you 40% off your total order. If you want to get anything or you want to stock up on anything or there's a kit you've been eyeing or something, you won't, basically you won't be able to purchase it. And because the way the monthly planner kit works, I will probably never reuse a kit theme because um, you're not going to have, you probably, I haven't decided if they're going to be like full mystery or they're just going to be like sneak peeks or you're going to know everything you're going to get every single month. Um, I'm still tinkering with all those little things, but I won't ever reuse a kit I've already designed. It'll be all new themes, um, so you probably won't see them again um, for quite a while at least. And I also will be stopping the monthly mystery kits because, well, I have a monthly mystery kit and then a monthly kit. Like, they don't, they just, it'll be substituted for this. Um, if people want me to bring it back on top of the monthly kit, I'll consider it because they'll be... Obviously, the monthly planner kit will have more stickers, so it'll be at a higher price point. Again, once I've fully designed all the sheets that'll be included every single month, I will work out that price point. And as soon as I have every single detail, you guys will know it. As soon as I know every single detail as to how many kits will be included, um, whether there'll be a horizontal and a vertical option, or there'll just be the standard option. Um, you, um, Whether there'll be a glossy and a matte, or I'll just... Because I'm tinkering with my paper as well. I'm sampling some new papers and seeing what I like. I might stick to what I have. I might change. Um, but, yeah. So once you know, once I know everything, you'll know everything. But I'm just, because a lot of people are kind of like, well, what are you going to do? They're like, if you shut your shop, where are you going to sell from? Like, where, how, what do you mean? Like, because I've said I'm not stopping selling stickers, but you won't be able to buy any of the stickers anymore. So... It's kind of, it's been confusing. So this is the video to kind of clarify what's going to happen with the shop. Um, so, yes. And I kind of probably am going to, so that will basically be the setup for the first few months. Um, depending on how rapidly it becomes, I suppose popular is the word, depending on how popular it is, will determine what happens as far as a la carte sheets, other th the sheets, because I know you plan for other stuff, like um, you plan for birthdays, you plan for graduation, you plan for uh, weddings, you plan for all this other stuff that I'm sure you want to have cute stickers for, and I'm sure you want just like some deco items, you want a full sheet of something, so I'm kind of, depending on how well the system works, I will be adding what I'm going to be called, what are going to be like themed sticker boxes, if that makes any sense. So, again, this is an idea I'm tinkering with. It might end up just being that I will continue the monthly planner kits for six months to a year, and then I will revisit having a a la carte sticker shop um, when I have, like, more time to dedicate to it and there's more of a demand for it. Because the reason I kind of decided to stop doing it is because there are so many options out there for these things. And to me, it was kind of like, I'm sitting here designing stuff that's already out there. Somebody else has already got this kit. Somebody else has already like, got Payday Corner stickers. Somebody else has already got Weekend Banners. So, in the way that I'm doing it, I feel like I'm making my themes and designs as original as possible. But I'm also not just creating stuff that's already out there and you can already buy um, in the shop, in any other shop. Even Australian shops. Like, I feel like when I first started, I had no idea there was this many Australian shops. So I thought I was kind of one of a few. But there's so many out there. So I know... It's not that I'm not needed, but I feel like I'm putting... What I felt when I decided... When I made this decision was I was putting too much time into something that wasn't real, if that makes sense. Not that it's not real, but it didn't exist. I was like building up all these things that were going to happen with my shop and I was building up all these kind of things that just probably weren't ever going to happen because there's so many other sticker shops out there. So I went back to my original idea of wanting to be different, wanting to not do what other shops do, wanting to not do the same thing, 
wanting to not have a the sheet looks exactly the same as somebody else's wanting to not like just wanting to do stuff differently I went back to that idea and this is how I came up with that so um and I want to try and continue that and the way okay getting back to I think what I was saying was the way I wanted to continue that when I started to offer other sheets that weren't the monthly planner kit was doing it in themed boxes of stickers so like a wedding theme box which would be everything I've designed to help you plan your wedding um and like so it would have things like like a sheet that has all the things you need to get done like um maybe like a wedding themed kit for the week like all that kind of stuff and then there'd be like a birthday kit so basically like a birthday themed week and any other extra stuff that goes with birthdays and like a graduation kit um like a graduation box and then like and I was thinking of like a designer favorites box which is like everything I would use to plan a week and like do them in different color schemes because what I was going to do before this was instead of having a bright and a pastel color scheme was have different color schemes like cuter ones and I could do the designer favorites box in like like a daydream color scheme like a spring colour scheme like do you if you kind of know if you know what I mean give it a thumbs up but um and that would be how I would sell stickers that aren't in the monthly planner box I feel like I've not done a good job of explaining it but when they are released you will under you will understand what I'm saying as of right now the first box will be released on July 1st so I just have my planner here on Friday July 1st this little day here I'm gonna I'm saying that but I'm not saying mark your calendars with that is the official date because as you all know I am going away in July so I have to work out the logistics of shipping boxes because like, I want them to be ready to ship so I would have to have them all ready and take them with me and ship them from where I am which is no problem if they're all ready but yeah, so that is the plan currently and that will be the box that is designed for August. And then on the 1st of August it will switch over and you will be able to buy the box for September and all that kind of stuff. And you'll get all the stuff you need. If you're a no white space planner, like I said, it's probably going to two weeks, sorry, two weeks worth of spreads. Um, and I know you don't like to do spreads fully from one shop, so I get that that's going to be probably plenty for some people. And then for white space planners, it'll be enough for like the whole month, if that's what you want. Um, if you want to use them all month long. But like I said, they're not going to be solid, um, like, colours that match the plan. They're going to be, like, interchangeable and they're going to just have a theme. So if you decide... You don't want to use them in that month and you can use the theme kit in another month but yes that is that is everything I think I want to say like I said if you have questions if all of that was just like really confusing and you have questions leave them below but I hope you kind of understand it's almost like a subscription box basically I'll be doing a subscription box instead of um like single sheets but it's a little bit different again it's not like a subscription subscription like uh, it's not like a like it's not like the marianne design subscription box that you like i don't know how to explain it if you if you have a if you have a way of like wording this then leave it in the comments for me like because i have no way to describe what this is and that's why i needed to do this video so you guys understood if you don't like I say leave questions and yes I will be sure to answer them as best as possible um, but like I said as soon as I have like detailed information on the box and dates and like pricing and all that kind of stuff then I will let you guys know usually in the Facebook group is the first place I do it so be sure to join that group below and I will see you all in my next video bye